that, that right there. Something that I do during my spare time, I like to create paint. But anyhow, welcome back to the channel and here with another segment. Let's talk. Ladies, join in because this is for you. <laughs> How can I put this? Sometimes, more times, growing up, because we're in our adolescent stages, we are not at an age to receive information to know better, right? But then when you get to that age and you're like retaining so much, you want to learn more about yourself and want to love yourself and love others, you got to learn some more stuff. And so I'm talking about our sexuality, our sensuality, our, I'm just, yo, listen, I feel it often. I felt it before, but I felt it before my time and I wasn't taught properly until I had to learn myself. And so loving yourself, enjoying yourself, feeling sexy and the right type of sexy, because whatever's being pumped out there, it's just, it's just, it's toxic. And trust me, I was there too, because it was taught to me in a perverted way, which I justified at the time, but now come to understand even like what, 2004? Or even before that, I, I, I came to understand it, but I had to apply it in my life and I had to make the necessary changes. And I know it sounds like I'm all over the place, but I'm going to narrow it down to this. Ladies, it's okay to love yourself. It's okay to be sexy. It's okay to love yourself in the sense of your own sexiness and owning your own sexiness. And that includes pampering yourself, having baths, you know, uh, use, using luxurious ointments and um, products that work for you, make you feel your best. And you're seeing that glow because you're investing in yourself. You're wearing that dress, you're wearing that outfit, you're buying that purse, you're purchasing things that make you feel good about yourself in terms of your body, your mind, your, your look, your character and all of that. Right. And so when you're exuding this, you do attract certain people. Now, if you're doing it in a way where you're, you don't understand and you're being taught by what society is showing you or what is accepted in the world and you join in and you're getting the wrong type of attention thinking it's the right type of attention. Trust me, I was there, so I'm not judging you. Okay. And the sexuality that I was taught was less close, you know, um, perverted stuff. Uh, my bum's being printed out. My breast is being exposed. I'm making sexual faces. Like, you know, I found that it was okay and it was acceptable and I would pump it out there. Then, I had to learn the right way. And so even though people were trying to teach me at my young age, because of what had happened to me, I didn't want to listen to them. And plus I see majority of people in the world doing it too. I'm at an age where I'm 40, I'm turning 49 next month. And I'm at an age where I'm loving myself all the more. And I'm saying that the more we accept ourselves and the more that we learn how to do it the correct way and the more healthy way is the more that we stay young and vibrant. I believe that us as women, we need to lead by example and let our younger ladies know what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Because when you start loving yourself and you, and you create standards and boundaries, being taught by those that are actually exuding that and showing you that, it makes it easier to say no and it makes it easier to say yes. And it also makes it easier to change your mind change your wardrobe and how you carry yourself and change your speech. And also not receiving the same things that is being pumped out to us as a normal way of living. I am at a nice, beautiful age that, oh my goodness, my sexiness is not perverted, not disrespected, understood by those that have practice the same way to love themselves as well. My language is different. My company is different. The way I care myself is different. And so even as a seasoned woman going through the rigmarole, I'm not saying this back because it's something I have to go through in order for me to say what I'm saying right now. I accept love. I receive love. I exude love. I am love. I am loved. I understand it now. And so when I'm wearing something sexy, that makes me feel good. My young kids might say something, you know, younger kids might say, Oh my gosh, you know, and it's like, it's not revealing to me. It's not revealing 
to them it's not either but to step out of the norm of being an old person and wearing old clothes and looking like i'm not i'm not insulting anyone because i know sometimes we don't know and if you're there and you don't know you want to learn how to love yourself more i know you're here for a reason i am not knocking you i'm saying that the level of sexiness and love you have for yourself starts from within. It starts with knowing what love is and how to love yourself and that you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for attention. Do you know what I'm saying? And if we don't know how, let's learn and let's share. Because us as women, the more we love ourselves is the more joyful we look, the more happy we look, the more that we glow, the more that more youthful we are. You know what I'm saying? And we embrace the grays. We embrace the lines. We embrace the curves. We embrace the weight gain. We embrace those things because we are at this age or at this level in life or at this position in life that is like, I have so many years on this earth. I am going to enjoy it. And I'm going to teach myself how to love myself more regardless. Do you know what I'm saying? Youngsters, girls, listen. Yeah, I might bake. Yeah, I might put on eyeshadow. Yeah, I might wear lashes sometimes, nails and stuff like that. But I do it geared off of how I love myself and how I want to look. And just like you, you're doing the same thing as well, right? Pay attention to who's paying attention to you. When you are loving yourself and you're going through those stages, do you like the attention you're getting? Do you like how they're responding to you? Do you like how they're gawking at you? Do you like how they're grabbing you and groping you? It may seem normal, but it's not. I used to go through that. I used to now. Oh no, I don't even command respect. I don't demand respect. I am respect, respecting myself first and understanding more and more about it. So I'm still growing. I'm still learning, but I'm enjoying it and understanding the healthy way of doing it. And to my youngins, please, please, please take your time, take your time, enjoy yourself, travel, get to know yourself. Don't allow a man to enter in. Okay, because we as women carry things and we want to be married and we want to have a home. We want these things, but some of these men are not ready for it. But the sooner we give them our gold and our gems is how we lock ourselves in. They may not be locked in, but we will be locked in. And I'm advising you to keep your gems, enjoy your life, learn how to love yourself more, travel, do what you got to do. And yes, it will come. Just be patient, but make sure you receive it in a healthy way, not in a a way where someone's going to leave you. And trust me, it has happened to me why I say this. Seasoned, age appropriate right now in my life. I love it. I say age appropriate because I'm just like, I believe I'm in a position to actually speak to you if you're listening. Love yourself more. Take that time to read that book. Educate yourself, please, and understand that you are a beautiful daughter of God. You are made in his image. He knows the hairs in your head. He knows your beginning. He knows your end. He knows who you're, going to, who you're going to be married to. So focus on your purpose and your plan. Focus on your goals. Your best friend will come along. Your soulmate will come along. Your partner will come along. Don't even think about that. He will come. Focus on you and enjoy your life. And as seasoned women, yo, if you're watching this, girls, ladies, sisters, let's continue enjoying our lives and understanding what lovely, sexy beings we are doing it for ourselves first. And he will recognize that if you're single, he will recognize that. And if you're married, keep the excitement in your marriage. Love yourself more. He sees the confidence in you. Build him up. Do you know what I'm saying? And shake a tail feather at times because it will work anyhow i just wanted to at least touch note with you i'm feeling good i don't have no wine i don't need it i got my water hold up now mm -hmm. and i'll see you in the next video all right mm -hmm.